Miss Fumiha. Chairman, Singapore's infrastructure development and public administration has been pivotal to Singapore's economic transformation from a third world to a first world country in the last half a century. Yet, as Prime Minister said, I quote, we will never be done building Singapore. Members will remember that we passed a bill in Parliament last year that allows the government to undertake up to $90 billion of infrastructure developments through borrowing. This is to fund new rail lines, water, sewerage infrastructure, as well as coastal protection measures against rising sea levels. Experts have highlighted that some of the most significant risks in infrastructure projects lie in scoping, design and cost management, as well as project management. A report by the Project Management Institute estimates that poor project management costs an average of 12.7% of total budgets. If applied to the 90 billion of infrastructure projects in the pipeline, we could potentially waste 11.4 billion. Just last year, Auditor General Office reported lapses in People's Association development projects. Their checks reviewed lapses in adjustment for price fluctuation, a lack of assurance in quantities used for projects, and weaknesses in management of contract variations. So I would like to ask the Minister what governance framework is in place to manage the risks associated with the upcoming infrastructure projects, including supply chain disruptions in the post-COVID area. How does the government ensure that spending on infrastructure projects consistently offers Singapore value for money and is optimised over a life cycle basis? Thank you.